From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. Hi there, I'm Wendy Ryan. Dennis says Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment, but first here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. A Newport Ritchie man struck by lightning on Clearwater Beach dies from his injuries tonight. Gary Perks went into cardiac arrest after being directly hit over the weekend. He was in the sand near Frenchie's Rockaway Grill. Authorities telling us at least seven others were injured, but they're all expected to survive. Things are back to normal near Tampa International Airport after a scare involving a package at the post office just nearby. Hundreds of people had to evacuate from that building after a liquid with a white bleach like smell started leaking from a package. Five people ended up at the hospital. None of the injuries are serious, though. Investigators say there's no danger to the public. We're sorting through the biggest takeaways from Robert Mueller's six hours of testimony on Capitol Hill today. The former special counsel mostly responded with yes or no answers, but he did criticize the president for encouraging WikiLeaks to publish emails the Russians stole from Hillary Clinton's campaign. We have a full recap posted on our website at abcactionnews.com. And now here's Dennis with Florida's most accurate forecast. Dan? Hey, doing everybody We're getting a little bit of a break, at least to the evening hours, although overnight storms start to build yet again in the Gulf and then they roll in first thing on Thursday morning. Possibility of a couple of severe storms or a water spout. That's always a chance. And then I think more of the same on Friday before things get back to normal by the weekend, meaning more sunshine, less storms with highs back then in the low 90s. All right, thanks, Dennis. Don't forget, you can get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And remember to download our free ABC Action News app.